I've been studying and working with Dobermans and their owners exclusively for many, many years now. I'm certified in canine communication. I'm a member of the Association of Professional Dog Trainers. I've provided expert Doberman book reviews, been quoted in Doberman Network Magazine, and a lot more. Just about everything I've done in the dog world has been focused on just this one single breed, just Dobermans. And now I started really doing a lot of private one-on-one -on -one Doberman ownership coaching on my website, DobermanPlanet.com. But every now and then I get a new client coming to me who's surprised to learn that there are just some problems I just can't help you out with. Chris, it's really nice to meet you. So what's got you so stuck with your Doberman? How can I help you out? <laughs> you want me to do what now? Uh, I can't do that, man. Seriously, I love pulling owners out of bad situations with their dog by helping them get their training back on track and just kind of lowering their overall stress in their household. And usually I can make a huge difference with just a few simple approaches that seem to work really well with Dobermans specifically. But there are definitely times when they book a session with me for things, well, I either can't help them out with or just things they might want to save their money for that I can answer right now in this video. And the first one of those is when you simply need a pep talk. Save your money. This is almost always an owner with a doorman under about 10 months of age and often under six months of age. They feel like things are just kind of going south. And most of these owners are first time doorman owners and simply need to know that they are on the right track in that the sometimes very stressful issues they're running into raising their doorman isn't unusual at all. This is often when they're having issues like puppy nipping and biting in a doorman under six months of age, Ow! or seemingly purposeful disobedience from a doorman who is just hitting that sexual maturity for the first time, which is usually between six and nine months of age. Or they have a doorman who's refusing to move on a leash just after they brought them home, and this is usually with a eight week old brand new puppy. Come on, let's go inside. Or chewing on and destroying everything in the house when the dog is under six months of age. Many of these behaviors are actually really normal for a Doberman puppy of that age, and they really just simply need a calm and rock solid consistent leader who won't get overwhelmed. Now, of course, if you're seeing concerning behaviors or you just want some ideas on how to minimize the impact of some of these things, I'd be more than happy to help. That might actually be a good use of your time and effort really, but it's, if it's just a pep talk alone that you need, don't spend your hard earned money. I got free videos on my channel that are full of pep talks for you. Speaking of puppy biting and nipping, if you're looking to hire a Doberman professional for a puppy biting and nipping stage, in other words, a puppy under about six months of age who's just kind of nonstop nipping at you, you may also want to save your money. I hate to say this, but man, this is super normal for Dobermans. These dogs have a ton of prey drive. They're highly focused on their owners, and so, they are known for a brutal puppy nipping stage. Like seriously, even the best of these dogs can be like a shark who smells blood in the water when they're going through that puppy nipping stage. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And often even after diving headlong into exactly how you're handling the puppy nipping stage, I might just tell you that you're kind of doing everything perfectly and all you need now is consistency. Now, once these dogs finish their teething stage, which happens around six months old, it gets way better and you'll start to see the fruits of your efforts in this department. Before then though, yes, it's gonna be kind of a struggle. Now, of course, there are some cool little tricks that experienced open owners often use to make this stage a lot easier, but a lot of it is simply just kind of putting your head down and towing the line until your dog is done teething. That's just how it is. Okay, so if you have a Doberman who's say over about a year old and has a serious real biting issue now, we're ju not just talking about the innocent puppy stage anymore here with this, but like a real biting issue, then you might want to hire someone who can see your dog in person.
look, I love what I do, but the reality is I coach Doberman owners remotely, usually via Zoom, and there are some serious limitations as a result. I can't see how your Doberman reacts in person, their body language, their triggers, and so much more. So when the stakes are really high like this, it's often best to get an actual dog behavioralist, not just a trainer who can see the dog in person because they're just, there's just too many variables. But of course, please just make sure that you get one who is familiar with the Doberman breed specifically. So if your Doberman is starting to seriously bite or maybe they're starting to aggressively jump on, let's say an elderly family member, for example, really anything with high stakes like that, safely separate the dog and get someone who can see the dog in person. Another time when you might not want to hire me to help you with your Doberman journey is when you're just ready to give up, throw your hands in the air, you're done putting in effort and you just want someone else to take over. Sit. Come on, sit. Up. Down. Marlo, come here. Come here. I give up. Too much. Hey, I'm certainly not judging anyone. I'd rather you admit that you aren't willing or aren't able to put in the effort than end up with 100 pounds of Doberman who's uncontrollable as an adult. If you're just in a place where you don't need coaching on how to best apply your efforts, but instead you just need a trainer to kind of take over, take your money and handle the dog from here on out, then you're probably gonna wanna find someone else. Just please, the last thing you want is to be training your Doberman the same way you train a Labrador because that's what the trainer is used to. So again, make sure whoever you choose is really familiar with Dobermans, please, or you're really gonna be hating life and working against yourself and kind of at your wit's end. Now, some people have a Doberman who just for whatever reason, usually socialization issues when they're younger, but not always, just reacts to something. And if it's determining what in the world is setting your dog off to begin with that you want help with, don't use me. I remote coach and can help you brainstorm ideas, but honestly, it's just pretty hard for me to jump up over that fence and kind of see what's going on on the other side from way over here. But on the other hand, if you've already figured out what your Doberman is reacting to and just want someone who can help you with ideas on kind of how to begin to desensitize your Doby to that specific trigger, who understands that these dogs and what they usually respond best to, then I'd love to help you. Guys, honestly, I love helping out my clients one-on-one -on -one with their Doberman issues. It's really one of my favorite things to do. And although, yes, there are some limitations to what I can help you with, especially remotely, I'll always be up front and let you know before we even start a session if I think it's something I can't help you with. Plus, I put a ton of work into the, all these videos on my channel and I make them with a goal of helping as many people as possible for free. So make sure you spend some time first checking out some of the videos on my channel. There's a good chance I may have already given some great free insight into whatever issue you're struggling with. But hey, if you've done that already or you just want some personal one-on-one -on -one coaching from yours truly, I'd love to help you out. You can head over to dobermanplanet.com slash coaching and take a look at the coaching services I offer there. I offer not only live one-on-one -on -one owner coaching there, but I also offer a less expensive option of simply requesting a personal pre-recorded video where I address you and your specific situation based on the information you give me so that no matter how unique and weird of an issue you're having, we can tackle it together. Please don't forget to subscribe before you take off and hit that notification bell as well because here at Doberman Planet, we're releasing new videos about once every two weeks now and they're very easy to miss with that schedule if you don't have notifications turned on. If you'd smash that like button too before you take off, it'd really help me out and I'd appreciate it. Keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors, guys. Spread the word about how amazing these dogs truly are and how unique they are. Just, they're just unlike any other. See you guys next time.